Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin, and this is just a quick extra for the migrating from Flash series on a couple of things to keep in mind when animating traditionally. The first is how the Onion Skin works. Going down along all the layers um, is all the padlocks to lock them, and this other symbol which kind of resembles a hamburger, this is the Onion Skin. Why is it on every single layer? Because it's independent for every single layer, which is pretty nice. The brackets exist along the uh, scrubber, just as it did in Flash, which is pretty nice. Um, but also notice that everything uh, to the left and to the right is blue and red. So you can tell what's coming next and what had just become previously. And it makes things a lot cleaner being able to have it on for just the layer that you need. You can see the other leaves unaffected. The colors can also be changed in preferences if you happen to be using a red or green that's clashing. The other thing I wanted to talk about is copying artwork and copying frames. Now something that you really don't need to keep in mind too much in Flash, it's actually quite easy. Um, to explain what I mean is if we're animating this guy traditionally, there's several ways we can get a duplicate of this drawing to, you know, draw it again slightly differently or uh, to keep it the same to increase its exposure. Uh, so for example, you know, you can do Alt, Control C and then and then paste its frames and you know that that's now a different drawing we can change it and it won't you know affect the original unless it were a symbol if you expand the timeline out and then go insert keyframe you know that's created a duplicate if you go to blank keyframe and go back and you know, paste in place that's done it as well you know, it always keeps it separate, which is nice when you're animating traditionally, but we run into a few problems over here. Uh, so for example, the exposure for this is, you know, going out to frame 20 and on frame 21, I wanna have it start animating traditionally. I wanna have a different drawing. So, you know, I'll, I'll copy that frame and uh, paste it over here, for example, and, you know, it just expands it. It's gonna keep it as, as that drawing, you know, if I, alternate if I alter this one it's it's now busted my original one and I don't want that so what do I do um, well notice that as you select different windows around the interface it gets this this red border around it is see that happening there uh, so that's kind of important because if you're here and you start copying and pasting when it's around the timeline it's going to be copying and pasting frames if you copy and paste stuff while up here it's copy and pasting the physical artwork. So now if I go to a new frame and I paste, it's now put a split there. And this is now a different drawing that if I were to manipulate that, see, no problem. But it can be a bit difficult to remember that going to the stage, tapping in the stage before pasting. Uh, you st I still do it a lot, but the best way to do it, and this is almost exactly the same as, uh, you know, when you right click and go to um, insert keyframe like that. And that's if you right click and go to, where is it? Drawings, duplicate drawings. It puts that same split there. So you know it's now a separate drawing. The button also exists up here. Split, duplicate drawing, there you go. It makes duplicates. It's a confusing thing to remember when first switching over because keyframes are, they mean something slightly different in Flash to Toon Boom. Because keyframes here, they only reference points of movement. You know, it's keyframed on the left side of the screen and then you make another keyframe on the right side of the screen and it will motion between, uh, between those two points. Uh, whereas different drawings are referred to as different cells, you know, cell animation from back in the old days. So although we have, you know, nearly 40 frames of animation, there are four cells, four different drawings that exist now. Um, whereas over in Flash, you know, keyframes kind of refer to everything. They're used as new drawings and different positions. So it's, it's actually more confusing here when you think about it logically. It's just what we've gotten used to. Um, so hopefully that makes sense and you'll be able to kind of ease your brain into this way of thinking a bit easier. Uh, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.